Hey scientists, I miss you so 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 much. I hope you guys are all doing okay. Today we're gonna have a fun time in science. Miss Lambert is going to do some challenges. And if you have some mirrors, oh, you can see me. If you have some mirrors at home, you can do the challenges with me. If you can't find any mirrors at home, that's okay. You can just watch Miss Lambert. So the last experiment we did in school, in our classrooms, we used our little mirrors and Miss Lambert gave you a flashlight and we experimented with how we can redirect light or how we can change the direction that light is going. So we learned that if we hold our mirror up one way and we flash a light on it, the light will bounce off the mirror and go the opposite way. And we did a challenge where we had our light facing our table and we put our mirror this way and the light redirected to the ceiling. And then we did it the other way where our light was facing up towards the ceiling, but then our mirror made the light reflect down towards our tables. That was really cool. And we already know so, so much about mirrors and light. Today, we're gonna see what else we can do with mirrors, okay? So here is our first challenge. Okay, challenge one. So like I said, if you don't have any mirrors at home, it's okay, you can just watch me do the challenge. But if you take a close look around your house, maybe you can find either some mirrors like this that I can hold. I found a little mirror in my room. You might have some mirrors hanging on the walls, maybe in your bathroom. I know in my bathroom I have a mirror hanging on the door. So it doesn't have to be a mirror that you can hold. It can be any mirror in your house as long as you can look into it. So for the first challenge, you're gonna have your mirror and you're gonna need just a piece of paper. Miss Lambert found a random scrap piece of paper and something to write with. So what you're going to do, have your paper and your pencil or whatever, your marker ready to write. I want you to look in the mirror, look in the mirror, and I want you to look at what you can see. When I look in the mirror, I can see my face, and if I get really close to the mirror, I can see really up close to my face. Without mirrors, we would not be able to see our own faces. What we're seeing in the mirror is the reflection of our own face. So I want you, for your first challenge, or just watch Miss Lambert, we're gonna draw our own reflection. We're gonna draw exactly what we can see in the mirror when we look into it, okay? I'm gonna get started. This is what my drawing came out like. I really focused in closely to my eye. So you can see I drew my eye, my eyelashes, my eyebrow and all the little details I saw when I got really up close and looked at the reflection of my eye. Now your drawing, if you tried this, might come out a little bit different than mine. Maybe you drew your whole face, maybe you focused in on your nose or your mouth. As long as you're trying and really focusing in and drawing exactly what you see, you did a great job. Now in science class, we know we can label. So I'm gonna label my picture, Miss Lambert's reflection. This is my reflection. My reflection is going to look very different than your reflection because we are all different and what we can see in the mirror will look different. All right, now it's time for challenge two. For challenge two, all you will need is a mirror and maybe if someone is at home who is able to help you out with this challenge, it would be cool if you could have somebody else. So for this challenge, this is called the rear view mirror challenge. You're going to use a mirror and you're gonna try to see what's behind you without turning around. So you have to stay facing forward and I want you to try to use the mirror to see what's behind you. So I'm gonna give you a little hint for this. I'm gonna sit sideways. So right now I am facing forward. I wanna see what's behind me without turning around, okay? So how you can do this is use your mirror, hold it in front of you, 
And instead of looking at your reflection, instead of looking at your face, you're gonna hold it out a little bit more. And you will notice if you move it around, you can really see what's behind you, okay? Now, if you have someone at home who wants to help you out with this challenge, somebody can stand behind you and you can try to find them using your mirror. Now, remember, you cannot turn around. The whole point of the challenge is to just use the mirror to see what's behind you, okay? So you can try that challenge out or you can watch Miss Lambert. So when I use my mirror, I can see that there is a plant hanging behind me. I see the curtains in the window and I see another chair. All right, those are some of the things that I see. Let's see if I was right. Let's take a peek behind me. I see the plant, the chair, and the curtains. Pretty cool. Okay, scientists, if you have tried out these challenges, either the first one or the second one or both, or if you watched Miss Lambert do the challenges herself, I have two quick questions I want you to think of. The first question is, was it easy to use a mirror to see behind you or was it a little bit tricky? And my second question is, when you looked behind yourself only using the mirror, did you notice anything different? I can tell you when I used the mirror to look behind me, I noticed that things were flipped, kind of like backwards, okay? You give it a try out and see if the same was for you. Now, as always in science, we kind of wrap up with our writing. So Miss Lambert is gonna show you her writing for this week. Okay, under my picture, I wrote this sentence. With a mirror, I can see my reflection and I can see things behind me. If you wanna try out a sentence, if you have some paper at home and a pencil, you can try out a sentence, use Miss Lambert's to help you out. So you're gonna answer the question, what can you see with a mirror? All right, scientists, I hope you enjoyed today's experiment, these two challenges using a mirror to help us learn a little bit more about what these tools can do. I miss you guys so, so much, and I will talk to you guys next time.